You may have heard the rumblings about the Intel X299 chipset, which in itself would be supporting the Skylake X and KB Lake X CPUs. Well, Mensch Live have just gone and confirmed that Intel has already begun sampling these chips in the industry. Now, while Skylake X and KB Lake X are being aimed specifically at enthusiasts and are expected to launch in the second half of 2017, which will be a totally new platform with a new chipset, socket, CPU line, and support for next generation I.O. technologies such as Intel Optane. And it has been confirmed by industry sources that Intel has begun sampling their HEDDT, which in itself means high-end desktop platform, processors for the LGA2066 socket, and one such CPU has already been spotted in pictures. Now this is an early sample, so do expect to see lower clocks on such models and the clock speed at the moment on the sample pictured is of course as you can see 2.4 GHz. Now the sharp eye view on there will also see the R4 label on the PCB of the chip. Now this R4 label is for the socket type and it was earlier confirmed that the LGA2066 is codenamed R4. Now, in case you weren't aware, the Skylake X is basically the new name for Skylake E, which is, as I already said, built for high-end desktop PCs, and, as I also already said, it will be aimed at enthusiasts, and will be replacing the Broadwell E family, which launched a few months ago. Now, information is suggesting at the moment that these Skylake X CPUs will be available in the same core configuration as Broadwell E with 10, 8, and 6 core variants, and TDBs adjusted around 140 watts, while delivering better IPC, of course, with the new Skylake architecture. And of course, we can expect similar, if not pretty much exactly the same, pricing structure for these processors, but of course, you know, it wouldn't be out of the realms of imagination for it to be a bit higher than Skylake. Sorry, Broadwell, not, not Skylake, apologies. It's also mentioned, however, that only the 10-core variant will deliver 44 PCIe Gen 3 lanes, with the 6-core variant will come with 28 PCIe Gen 3 lanes. We did also mention KB Lake X CPUs at the start of this video, and they're also going to be launching across their HEDDT platform. They're going to be launching at the same time as Skylake X, but will only be available in a quad-core package. However, the surprising thing here is that the KB Lake SKUs will be featuring a TDP between 95 to 112 watts on a 14nm node, which basically means we might be looking at a much higher clock speed to compared to the current gen quad core models. The KB Lake family does actually use a more optimised architecture compared to Skylake, which will allow for finer tuning of its performance for better efficiency and, well, performance and it will feature up to 16 PCIe Gen 3 lanes. So, there you have it. Of course, we can expect more information as the launch of the KV Lake X and Skylake X chips approaches. For now, we are fairly close to the launch of the KB Lake S family CPUs, which will be launching at CES next year, which of course is January the 5th, 2017. So for now, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.